Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today the agenda is a little bit different. Um, we're at the lake, we got the boat, but we're not really here to do, I'm gonna say a lot of fishing. But uh, the reason we're here today is because I got a new piece of equipment for the boat and it's freaking awesome. And I'll just go ahead and show it to you. It's right, right there. Yeah, that's right. I got the uh, Minn Kota Trova. Um, been wanting one for this boat uh, since I got the boat. Long story short, I bought a boat last year and it came with a Trova on it, but I figured out real quick it wasn't the exact boat that I wanted. It was a Pro Crappie, Tracker Pro Crappie, and I, I don't crappie fish that much. I do bass fishing, so I wanted more of a bass layout on the boat. So I sold that boat, left the motor on it, and then I bought this boat and it came with a Minn Kota power drive without spot lock. And you can't, you can't have spot lock and then not have spot lock and then be happy. You just can't do it. So uh, yeah, so now anyway, we got the Trova on this boat and I'm stoked about it. Um, I didn't do a video showing how, to, how I hooked it up because I'm not really a super handy guy and my projects don't really ever go real smooth but this one wasn't too bad anybody can do this uh, I put the GPS sensor over there by the steering console um, this is the 12 volt 12 volt model uh, 55 pound thrust um, I took the transducer cable off because I'm not gonna I don't have another I don't have a unit on the front and if I do get one I probably won't use the uh, the, trans the built in transducer probably use my own so anyway enough talking about it there's a goal for today we're gonna we're gonna calibrate this thing and uh, test it out before I really take it out to go fishing I want to make sure it works good so uh, I'm gonna calibrate the, the thing and test it out and then we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of fishing because you just can't I mean, how can you put a boat on the water and then not do any kind of fishing? So the goal is to catch at least one fish. Hopefully it doesn't take very long because I don't have a lot of time today, but that's what we're doing. Uh, stay tuned. Let's get it done. All right, so I'm going to drop the trolling motor. Turn it on. GPS or the heading sensor powered on. Got a blinking blue light on there. Grab my remote. Now the directions say to. Well, let's we'll do it here. Okay, we got that down. We're gonna turn this on. Try to make it so you can see what it says. It says okay. Then you scroll down to system. Check right there. Then we go to sensor cal. Check. And we'll press start. Now it says drive boat in two complete circles. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna do it with the big motor just things easier go ahead and go full lock on it show you the progress on it circles it says cow successful all right so sensor offset all right we don't need to do that because the sensor is pointing due north or due <laughs> straight ahead 
all right so that was easy that was pretty easy so that's done might as well uh try it out a little bit make sure she works I'm turn it around backwards there you go seems to steer quicker than my power drive did so that's good now constant i think oh, i want to go 10. let's go out there go over here by these rocks and we'll hit the spot lock and fish around them rocks a little bit now, all I brought was one rod and reel I brought my finesse spinning gear and some Nico stuff and some Ned stuff so hopefully we can get it done with that all right so now we're gonna hit the spot lock button see what she does I forgot that if you're moving forward and you hit the spot lock button, it'll actually want to move you back to where you were when you hit the button, which is what that's when that happens. Well, it's, I was going to have to correct it, but it, it caught it. So I think, I think she should be good to go now. The wind's blowing this way, so should keep the nose of the boat pointed right up there. And we're going to toss the Nico around them rocks right there, see if we can get bit. See how long it takes to get one here. This is what I love about the spot lock. <laughs> the wind's blowing you a certain way and it's facing your boat a certain way. You can just you can come to the back of the boat, motor does its thing, you can fish off the back of the boat, not even have to worry about the motor. Figured them rocks there would hold some fish, but Got him. Got him. There's our one fish so far. You know, since that came so easy, I can't, <laughs> I'm not going to quit after this guy. You know, that was pretty easy. And he's pretty small. We got to try to get a bigger one than that, right? The Nico. Do it again. Trolling motor seems to have plenty of juice for this little boat. I only went with the the 12 volt just because this little Lumacraft. I don't know where I'd put another battery for the 24. But I think it's good. Should be able to get a fish or two right up here, I would think. Fish aren't super bitey. Or they don't seem to be anyway.
It, oh, dang it. Oh, that makes me mad. <laughs> ah, did you see that? Should have tied after I got hung up there, I guess. <sighs> Don't even know what he was, but he wasn't little. Dang it. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, like I said, I didn't have much time. I did catch the biggest fish I caught. You didn't see it on camera because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Uh, still wasn't big. used like a pound, but it was the third fish. Uh, so I caught three fish with the goal of one. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.